five dog howling. This is the Busun Shinki Wave 2, i.e. really really old, it's probably about three years old already. Uh, Wave 2 Busun Shinki designed by Blade. And because it's an old release, the box is old and it's a bit crinkled, a bit crinkled up. But the good thing is, what I like is that it's still got the flap, so you can actually see what you get. And you see what you get. So the yeah, the design basically is quite simple. You can see that even on the box art, it's a watercolor and it's a very simple design. It's not bad. Got a few uh, drones to actually go along with Howling. And Howling has been on the side of uh, on the end of most of the jokes about whether it's a she or he. Well, it's supposed to be a she, really, but um, yeah, it's designed such that it's not really easy to figure out. So that's it about the box. What do you get from this set? You get the basic figure, uh, the heavy bazooka, the head armor piece, two accessory uh, uh, throwing wings, a lot of armor, a lot of tiny little parts for the drones, and you can see the drones here. They're supposed to be uh, a cute um, miniature head of a dog, but doesn't look like a dog at all. It looks a bit like a fox, more like. But yeah, and you also got the rest of the arm. You also got the rest of the armor, the leg, the arm, the backpack uh, armor pieces to actually mount. Um, her onto the onto the base. Got a tail. Got some spare port part. Uh, a pair of um, what is it? It's a beating stick type weapon in the very very common in the past in Japan. Kind of know what it's called. Yeah, and spare cell hands. There's no um, uh, alternative face or expression. That is basically a fault um, in the first two wave of the Busun Shinkin line. So it's a bit boring in that sort of sense. Let's take the, let's take the figure out. So here is Howling uh, in the bare body. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the main color is black and the flesh color which is I think is a type 2 color of slightly yellowish, um, yellowish white. And you can see there is also a paint app of a dark green all over her. Well, I say all over her, there's only a few lines on it. Uh, people will like and dislike the head sculpt. The head sculpt is indeed looking quite cute, but it's also got really big eyes and just add to the cuteness. But at the same time, it's a bit plas plastic here, a bit. Mm, a bit undetailed, but it really depends on taste. Um, and people do complain that she doesn't look very girlish. It's a tom, it's a tomboy look compared to her wave, um, wave mate, uh, Mao Chao, which is a bit more feline, a bit more, um, a bit more feminine. So that's it about the basic, fi uh, the basic figure. Let's arm her up. And here is Howling, fully armored. Uh, actually, let's get her off the stand first, because uh, despite how she looks, she, despite how top heavy she is, she still manages to stand most of the time. There we go. 
Howling is, yeah, I have to say I'm quite disappointed with Blade. Um, I quite like Blade design. It's a bit, it's unconventional compared to the rest of the uh, Buzushinki line, which is what Buzushinki line is supposed to be. It's supposed to be uh, different in every single wave. And they certainly achieve it in here. But um, the armor design has designed such that you can't actually use her basic arm. It means that she can't actually hold any of the weapon she has. Things like this, none of them can actually be um, behold. Things like that, yeah, they, this is a really, really nice uh, looking weapon for her, but none of them could be used because she got no, well, she got no hand. It's completely covered by this mechanical arm, which I have to say is not bad, it's actually quite nice because the fingers are actually slightly articulated they're actually quite detailed in the sense that they actually got claws at the end. But um, there's not a lot of articulation. I mean, there is articulation, but they're not useful. The wrist turn, there is actually one joint here, one joint here. Total to actually two ball joint, which allows her to lift her arm a bit. Let it go down a bit and go out. It's not bad, but you can't really actually keep her into really huge dynamic poles. You lost most of them in here and there's hardly any waste left because this armor completely covers the body. And you can you can see why when when she's completely armored no one can see whether it's a she or he. I mean can you? I can't see it. At least you still got leg drawn so if you want to see can still lean on the ground, knee on the ground, which is quite cool. Howling does got one weapon, and this is the heavy bone shaped bazooka. We see uh, seen it in in the work in um, in the game, and it does work pretty well. Despite um, both Howling and Mao Chao are actually close range combatant, um, Howling does got one long range weapon and it works by mounting it onto the back of the hand and plug in the other side and the good man of Konami does supply you with an ammo clip so that you actually have something to fire out about uh, howling so you just plug that in and there we are it's not bad the whole construction actually is a bit heavy now, so the stand is actually not holding quite well. But then again, I can just use a screwdriver and actually tighten it. But uh, there you are. This is Howling. I have to say Howling is a bit of a Marmite character, I think. That both Howling and Mao Chao are a bit difficult to actually justify to someone who don't like the design that they're worth it. Because she doesn't have much articulation. Um, in fully armored and it's not actually a huge amount of playability what you does what you do actually have left um, is this the four uh, drone include well including the one on uh, Mato's back here you do have all of this so you can actually mount them onto all of the spare weapon parts they're not weapon parts they're intended for um, for them so you can mount them in and turn them into attack drones for example a tank attack drones yeah you can also make it into a hover tank and there's all sorts of different bits and pieces all of them are combined in similar way you can actually mess around with them you can combine all of them together just to make a whole series of drones for um, for howling to go with so that's it about um, Howling. Next, I'm going to move on to the latest um, MMS dog, and that is Gablin. So until then, see you later.